guys, this is Constancy from Post Rabbit Hole, and this is actually my very, very first mini album. Um, I tr um, I'm in consumption with my mom, and I kind of started one. This is my first mini album I've ever finished. Um, I kind of started one, like, this past week um, for my son, and she kind of thought it was neat. I never even got close to finishing it. I did this one in two days, and um, I'm kind of excited about it. It's for her birthday slash Mother's Day, so I'm just going to kind of show you what I did. Um, this is all done in the Cayenne Company set from Michaels. It's just been really distressed, um, with Tim Holtz ink. And, um, this is just the word mother I cut out of Grinch board and covered with paper. And then, um, I binded it. Mommy will find it. Sorry, my son's looking for his drumstick. Um, anyway, um, uh, this is paper bags and I binded it with this butterfly off of the mask to fourth. So I got it together and then... I stamped happy I wrote happy birthday and happy Mother's Day on it. Um, these fibers are just what I had left over from when I used to make mums. Um, I still do them um, during homecoming season and such like that. Um, I've been doing them since I was seven years old, so I've been doing doing mums a really, really long time. So I always have like a whole bunch of stuff left over. So I kind of figured that since I was doing mini albums, we would find a place to use them. Um, these are just flowers from. I think Walmart or Hobby Lobby, something like that. Anyway, I just took them completely apart and I lit them down through the chipboard, which is what um, I back it with. And this is just closed with some, I don't know what this stuff is called, um, twine, I guess. I don't know. Um, and I got my boyfriend to cut a fish hook for me. I thought it was really neat. And, um, okay, first page. We have um, just a tag right here. Just a Blaine Jane tag, so she can either journal on it or put a photo or whatever. And then we have um, an envelope, which was cut out of wild card, and some journaling, and a tag, photo map, journaling. And then, um, like I said, this is a paper bag album, so each one of these has its own little tag inside of it. So she has a photo map and a place for journaling up here. These are just recollection flowers that I've Mod Podged and annihilated through, and then she has another photo map here. And let's just look up in here. Now I do my paper bag albums different than anybody I've ever seen. Every tutorial I've ever watched, um, they don't. I, I just I did what was best for me, what I liked the best. But I use six paper bags. It gives you six full pages and two optional mini pages, or you can make pockets. So I'll explain that in a minute. All right, next page I have um, a photo matter tag or some journaling, however she wants to do it, and with some journaling on the back. The same for this. I just wanted something that would be a really good photo album for her. So, um, and then you have this tag, which this was really neat. I thought I would save this. Hopefully she doesn't cover it up because I really like it, but I don't think she will. Um, it says, Ray and Jackson's The Fair, um, The Five and Dime Store, Washington Street, Vicksburg, Mississippi, May 5th, 1981. Um, her birthday is May 7th, but um, I thought this was really cool, just the way it said it. And then there's a photo mat on the back. And then these are just, like again, recollection flowers that I've Mod Podged. So then she has um, this spot here that she can untie, and she can, it folds apart. And if you want to know how to do this, I can explain it to you easier um, on a different tutorial. But um, it's just a photo mat that um, folds apart for each side. And then she can pull it out, and she can journal on it or whatever she wants to do. And it folds back down. Okay, now, earlier when I said that I do my things differently. There are two different options you can do and I've done both of them in this um, mini album just for different purposes but I'll show you that in just a second. And then you have this envelope and journaling. Okay so this is the space where you can either have four individual pockets or you can have one full mini page. Now my mini page is on the next page or two pages over so I'll show you that. But right here I've got four individual pockets for this bag. You've got one here, one here, one here, and one here. So I put a tag these are old advertisements um, with space for journaling or pictures, whatever. I put one tag in each spot. And my mom's a nurse. So there's one on here that I really liked. I wanted her to see the most. It says blood helix needles or something. Yeah, that's it. It was really, really cool. I really, really liked it. These ads, this, this paper pack was like $9 at Michael's. It's like the regular price, which really surprised me. So um, I was pretty excited about it. Um, being able to find something for my mom to do it. And then she's got journaling. 
then you have the waterfall card. Um, I did mine at a different length than anybody else does. I did mine at two and a half by two and a half because that's what fits on my page. But I've actually figured out how to do them up to five inches and then still work correctly. So if you want me to do a tutorial on it, please let me know. Um, this is just what I've done so far, okay? So um, what you do is you pull on this tab and it gives you a space for a photo and then a photo in journaling and a photo in journaling and a photo in journaling. And then you've just got um, the eyelets that hold this piece in place and um, a bird. It says not all who wonder are lost. And then you have a tag. And I hand cut all my tags. I don't use um, and a photo mat. I hand cut all my tags. I don't use the Cricut or anything like that to do them. I actually think the only thing I've used the Cricut in here for is that mother piece, which really surprised me because I use my Cricut for everything. So, and then you have, um, here's that Bless Felix Needles, the full page. I actually, full, this is a full page, it's not cut in half, um, and I just creased it, scored it down the center, and inked it. So, and then it says, a Tim Holtz stamp says, Time is a companion that will go with us on the journey. It reminds us to cherish each moment because it will never come again. What we leave behind is not as important as how we have lived. And my mom has been having a lot of problems in her life lately, so I thought that was pretty inspiring. Um, and then you have just some stamps. Um, of some tickets and a bingo card and then this is an old ledger that I inked and tagged. It's actually all this paper came from the can company. And then here's a flower and then we have a tag with some fragments on it and photo map and I go inside the paper bag. And another one. Okay now this is the um, page with the mini page. I'll show you that. And then we have a photo map and then so on this optional page, you could have, like I said earlier, I glued them together and had four optional pockets because that's what I needed at the time. But on this one, I wanted a mini page. So we have this um, thing just to hold the tag. And then I made this envelope for her to put whatever she wants in it. And it looks like a postcard. And then um, when you open this up, like you, uh, there's two individual pockets right here. You can put two different things in them. I mod podge all my tags so that they won't work. Um, but here's your mini page, and you can cover this fully across like I have, or I don't know what's up in my fragments. I don't know if it's just because it's so humid here, or whether they are not staying at all. I have been having a really bad problem with them. So then you have this tag right here. Hold on, baby, and mommy's right there. It's not done. i got to glue it back down. Let me eyelid it. And with a tab, and then you tag that goes down here. I'm going to fix that fragment. I really don't know what's wrong with them. Um, I use crackle accents to adhere them and to glue them down, but I've never had a problem with them before. And you have two tags here um, and two individual pockets so they don't stick together. And like I said, I'm on podge all my tags. I don't like the paper mount podge because they tend to stick, um, so I try to keep them as far apart as possible. I, and it's just because it's so humid here in Texas. Um, but yes, you have this full mini page. You can put whatever you want, full photo, whatever. And then you have um, another tag on the back of this mini album, and then you have a photo mat, and it just says enjoy the journey, they're both two-sided. And then this tag, it's an old ledger that was in there, and I want to say it was a photo mat and space for journaling. Okay, baby mommy, we're right there. I don't know what is up with me today. I never had this kind of problem. Okay, so then she has this page right here. She has a photo mat, a space for journaling. Then over here, I just adhered a flower to this one. So she has this photo mat and a space for journaling. And then the, the leaf is actually glued inside this tab. So that it looks like it's all together as one. And this tag that I've gotten here, um, this is the last page. Um, and this is her sentiment. This is her happy birthday card that I made, and then she's got a spot picture of us on her birthday, and this is just glue down this tag on the inside. It actually has a flower, eyelids to it, a space for journaling at the top, and a photo mat, a space for journaling at the top, and a photo mat. And I just took it apart, glued it back together, threw the whole thing. I really, really liked it. And then I don't have a circle punch, so I take my fist scars. I use a quilt cutter. It's the roller one, and I trace the edge of it and then cut around it. And then I just glued the insert that I cut out inside here. So that way my flowers can stick out. But I just thought it looked like it had been 
uh, matted down really cool. And then you have the journaling and a photo mat. And then it closes with a heat stroke. So um, that's about it. If you have any questions about how I do my paper bags or how um, I make anything that I've made in here, please do not hesitate. I don't know why this is not closing. Please do not hesitate to um, ask me. Um, like I said, this is my first one, so I'm not real good at them. But if anything that you want to know how I did, please let me know. All right. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good one.